Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to set up the recently released integration between Samsung SmartThings and Google Nest products. This will allow for cameras, doorbells, and thermostats made by Google under the Nest brand to be included right within the SmartThings app. This will allow for you to set up automations right within the SmartThings automation engine based on if sound or motion are detected on either a camera or a doorbell, and allow for the ability to include the Nest thermostat within automations as well. At the time of this recording, setting up this integration does not add Nest Protects or the Nest XEL Smart Lock. If they are ever supported through this integration, setting them up will be the same as for a camera, doorbell, or thermostat. This integration does require that your Nest devices are registered under your Google account. If you are on a legacy Nest account, you will need to migrate your account over to Google before setting up this integration. If you would like step-by-step -step instructions on how to migrate a legacy Nest account over to Google, make sure to check out my Nest account migration video. I'll have a link for it in the description below. To get started, open up the SmartThings app. From the main menu, click on the plus sign on the right-hand side of the screen. On the new screen that opens up, click on Device. Next, click on the magnifying glass at the top right-hand side of the screen. Then enter in Nest in the search field. Click on the Nest icon. Next, click on the type of devices you are adding. If you have several different device types you plan on adding, just select the one you have the most of. No matter which one you selected, you will be presented with a single icon. Click on it. Next, select the SmartThings location you want the devices to be added to and which room. You can always change room assignments later if needed. Once selected, click on Next. If you have already set up integration between Google and SmartThings, then you should not be prompted to log into your Google account. If you have not set up that integration yet, you will need to log into your Google account that has your Nest devices associated. Once authenticated, you will be prompted to enable SmartThings to see information about your Google Home. Click on the toggle under Step 1. The next step is to enable different aspects of integration. For Nest cameras, this includes being able to see and display a camera's live stream, know when events occur, such as motion events or sound events, and allow for access to camera snapshots. All settings can be individually enabled on a per camera setting, which is nice. For the Nest Hello Smart Doorbell, all of the options for cameras are available for the Nest Hello, with the addition of doorbell events. A doorbell event is when someone pushes the doorbell button. Again, all of these settings are individually selectable per doorbell. You will also have similar options to select if you are adding a Nest thermostat. The Google Nest Hub Max will be listed on our smart displays and have the same setting options as cameras. Once you have enabled the settings you want, click on Next at the bottom of the screen. You will see a prompt asking to allow or deny SmartThings Nest integration permission. Click on Allow to continue. Click on Allow to continue. Afterwards, you should get a confirmation page indicating the integration was successful. Click on the X on the left hand of the screen to close the window. This will bring you back to the SmartThings app, which will list the devices added to SmartThings. You may see less devices than you are expecting here, or devices named improperly. I found, just waiting a bit of time allowed for the rest of my devices to be pulled into SmartThings. I'd recommend setting up the integration and giving it an hour or two if you have a large number of Nest devices being added. You can click on Done to go back to the main menu in the SmartThings app. If granted full permission, SmartThings will show you a historical timeline of events for your camera allow for live streaming of video and audio, and allow for you to take a snapshot of the video. I personally found the initial streaming of the video to take a bit too long to start, but once it started, delay was minimal and the live stream was not laggy. The only setting change you can make to a Nest device in SmartThings is changing the name of it, which is only local to SmartThings. Changing the device's name or any other settings must be done within the Nest app. Having this integration set up will also allow for you to use the Link Nest devices within the SmartThings automation engine. This means you can use the motion sensor or sound sensor on a camera, as well as the button event on a doorbell to trigger automations right within SmartThings. Unfortunately, at the time of this video being recorded, you are not able to use the Nest thermostat as a motion sensor. With the automation engine, you are also able to interact and make changes to the Nest thermostat. Also take note that as of right now, this integration does not open up the Nest devices to smart apps. This means you are not able to include them within WebCore Pistons or have any other smart app interact with the Nest device. With this feature just being released, it's possible more functionality will be added later on. I'd love to know what you'd like to see be included in this Nest and SmartThings integration, so let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications so you'll be one of the first to know when I release a new video. Thank you for watching.